Hey, it's Manifest, and I want to share how I sold over 52 albums in just a couple of days and the strategies I used to do that without running any ads. Okay, and so the first thing I did was is we paid uh, a company that uh, has a targeted email list of fans, of people that are fans of music. Now, you can buy targeted email blasts from, from rock fans, EDM fans, Christian fans, whatever it is, your style of music. There's companies out there, websites, blogs, zines, that have email lists of people that have fans. And you can pay sometimes to get featured on their website, or you can get paid to feature on their website, and also have like an email blast. They have these things called press kits, where they give you all the different promotional options that you can you can buy for, and sometimes that'll include a Facebook post, sometimes it'll include a Twitter post. But one of my favorite things is 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 the email blast because it made over 800 and something dollars in just a couple of days, and it cost me only 900 and something dollars. So I almost made all my money back in a couple of days. Plus, I'm shipping out tons of albums. And what happens when someone buys my album? Well, I get the email address. Now I have the email address of a buyer. And let me tell you this, a buyer's email address is worth 10 times more than someone who just um, gave away your music for free. Now, how I sold so many albums has to do with the offer that I presented them. I didn't just say, hey, buy my CD for $14.99 or $19.99, depending on what genre you're in. And, and believe it or not, some people are still selling CDs for 20 bucks, like country and the Christian scene, especially like more AC contemporary, you're still paying 20 bucks a CD if you can believe that. But my offer was the CD was free, you just gotta cover the shipping and handling, and I'll also give you the digital download of it, plus you'll also get a sticker, okay? And that was my offer, and that's a really good offer. It was seven bucks, and then they got a free CD, you know, they just had to cover the shipping, which was seven bucks, plus they got the instant download, plus it came with a poster, because I always make a fold-out poster with the, uh, with the album credits when we do this. I'll just show you this. So when we do the, with, when we do the book, we always like to spend a little bit more, and fans get a really dope big poster, okay? How cool is that, right? And they get a sticker that cost me like what, 25 cents, right? And so that was the offer. And so it went like crazy, all right? To the point that somebody even emailed the guy that sent it out and said, hey man, can we email this to our list um, of 10,000 people? And I was like, heck yeah, sure, let them send the offer, man, we'll sell some more albums. And so that was one way I did that. And then the other way was I emailed my own list. All right, I emailed my own list. I promoted it to my Instagram and in my social media, my YouTube posted there and just promoted this thing. No ads at all, okay? No ads, just email the list. You might say, well, I don't have a list or I don't have this. Look, you spend your money on clothes that you don't need. You probably have a lifestyle where there's places where you can cut expenses and you can promote your music, okay? And let me just say this, when you, create a music video, a lyric video, or you create, you know, maybe a cool little video motion graphic or something like that. That might toot your ego and it might toot your horn and make you feel like you're doing something, but until you promote that, then you're not marketing, okay? What I did was direct marketing. I bought an email blast and I sent it to an offer. Now your offer could be something different. It could be just right to your Spotify, your Apple Music, whatever. But what I did was real marketing. It wasn't creating a marketing asset, it was creating marketing. This is technically a marketing asset. I could give this away for free, or I could sell it with a bundle. And that's what I chose to do, right? Same thing with your music. When you, like, un until you start selling these, these are just really promotional tools. Until it's sold, or you're giving it away, right? But then, the, the, like, if I went and gave away a thousand of these, that would be marketing. But when it's just created, it's just an asset until it gets pushed and sold and promoted. And that's what I find just more and more artists frustrates me. Not only are we, are, including me, we're always willing to spend money on making it. Oh yeah, whatever it costs, best producer, best market, or be, best design, best whatever. Okay, cool to make it. But then when it comes to marketing, we're like, I don't have any money. No, I don't want to spend money on marketing. I don't want to spend any money on marketing and you know you, you spend you know thousands and thousands of dollars making it but to get you to spend 500 or a thousand dollars or thousands marketing it's just like you spent you, you spent all your budget making it and that's why you should have cut your budget in half made less songs we're working on a new album right now 
and I'm really trying to see how I can, you know, not make as many songs. Maybe we might just do 10 this time. Maybe we'll only do nine. I'm not sure how many we're going to do. But I don't want to, you know, create all these songs if I'm not going to put the money in marketing it to increase my fan base. Because even though I have 700,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, and, you know, we've got a massive email list, and, you know, good followers and all that stuff, um, there's millions of people who haven't heard of me. Millions, millions, and millions. And so I want to encourage you, get your marketing game on. I'll make sure I put a link below this, this video um, so that you can sign up with Active Campaign. I'll make sure there's a link below this video so that you can join Fanbase University or get my Spotify Profits book. But look, you got to get in the game. You got to get in the game. You got to market. If you are not marketing your music every day and growing, then you're, you're going backwards. If you're not growing, then you're retreating, right? Like if you're not growing, you're dying. All right, so you need to be getting your music out there. I hope this is encourages you. One last lesson I want to leave with you before I go. Um, it was, it was PTT. PTT. Plan your tomorrow today before you go to bed. Before you do your next thing tomorrow, plan your day tomorrow. What is it that you're gonna do? What outreach? What promotion? What songwriting? Whatever it is, plan your day ahead of the tomorrow. Okay. That way when tomorrow starts, you're just ready to freaking rock it. This is Manifest. I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits.